By tradition, the notch side of the probe is held towards the patient's head side, or proximally, and or when looking at it in transverse, we turn the probe such that the notch is facing towards the patient's right side. Next, let's look at the various tissues of the body. We're going to follow an organized pattern so that it will help you when you're examining a person. We can either go from the skin surface down or from the bony surface up when we're examining somebody. I'm going to get you familiar with what a muscle looks like, what a tendon looks like, what a nerve looks like, what an artery and vein look like, and what the bone and soft tissues around them look like. We're going to start with a fairly superficial structure. We're going to begin with the thumb region, which will clearly demonstrate or show you what muscle and tendon look like. When we apply the probe over the thenar eminence in transverse, we're going to see a bright area in the middle of muscle. That bright white spot is actually the flexor pollicis longus tendon. Now, as mentioned earlier, holding the probe is very important. And there are a couple little tricks that you're going to need to learn when you're performing musculoskeletal ultrasound because one of the most common artifacts in musculoskeletal ultrasound is something called anisotropy. Anisotropy simply means that if we tilt the probe in one direction or another, the tissues will become brighter or darker. Certain tissues have a very strong anisotropic effect. Tendons, notably, have the strongest anisotropic effect. So if you're looking at this tendon in transverse and you tilt the probe slightly superior or slightly inferiorly, the tendon will go from being a very bright structure to being a dark structure. And we want to see a nice bright tendon outline. We have to be very careful on how we position the probe relative to the tendons, muscles, and tissues that we're looking at. We want to get the probe as perpendicular to the structures as we can. In order to correct for anisotropy, we do something we call toggling of the probe when we're in transverse. And toggling means this. We tilt the probe this way. Another technique that we use, particularly when we're in long axis to a structure, is that we can tilt the probe this way and this way. This is known as heel towing, just like moving the foot and dancing, heel towing.